Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Jason Matuk here, your favorite South Florida realtor. And today we are looking at some yachts. Right now we're gonna take a look at the Crescent 117 built in 2020. It's got five staterooms, six heads, and three crew cabins. So you can host up to 10 people on this bad boy and definitely throw a party with much more. It's asking $11,950,000. So as you know, I am not a yacht broker, so I don't know all the details, but anything that I do miss or mispronounce, please forgive me. All the information will be in the description below if I screw anything up so you can find it out there. Follow me on board. Let's take a look at the Crescent 117. All right, so I'm gonna step on very carefully. Ooh. All right, so down here, this is like your first walk-on area. We have teak wood. This is, right here is fine enough to just hang out with some friends. Everyone lounges out here, hangs out. We're looking up at the scenery. Before we even walk onto the boat, I'm already impressed. And this actually takes you into like the downstairs laundry area, leading to more of the crew quarters. So I'll save that for the end. It's more technical in there. Let's get to the fun stuff. Come up the stairs with me. All right, so walking up, this is the main deck area when you first come on board. Right away, it already just looks like a place where I want to invite everyone I love. In the center, this whole area, we have a glass and carbon fiber accent table with six teak chairs, all these high hats above. So at night, you got laser vision. And right here is a spot that every time I see this, this is what I just imagine. Imagine just laying here, just hanging out, sun, friends, you're just looking back in the party. I, I just cut the boat right here. This is all I need. And it's just a perfect sunbed to have, especially if you're in South Florida. Also, next to it, we have speakers. So you got speakers, lights, place to eat, place to lounge. What more are you missing? Well, of course you're missing something. You're missing a place to drink, Eric. Of course, so right here, we have the wet bar. And behind the wet bar, we have more of that carbon fiber accented appliances. We have an ice maker, fridge, sink, and we have a TV on the wall. So while you're sitting here, just having dinner, laying back. You're just enjoying a nice show, getting a nice view. It's just not missing a single thing. We have entrances on both sides, so you can hop off on each end. And now, let's actually get inside this gorgeous, gorgeous boat so I can show you what it has to offer. So we're in the main salon now, you know, like the living area. In the center of this room, we have two L-shaped couches. I mean, the fact that we're on the water right now is pretty shocking. You're just sitting here, the hi-hats above, there's accent lighting throughout the entire boat. I feel like I'm in a luxury mansion right now, but believe it or not, we're on the water. There's no rock on this boat. It's quite amazing. And then just entertaining everybody sitting here, like being on the water is not entertaining enough. We have a 65 inch TV that comes up out of this two inch thick quartz cabinet. It's just perfect. You can close it down if you don't want to obstruct the view. We have 10 windows, so you get tons of natural light as we come down. Storage underneath each window, outlets, charging phones, because everyone's gonna be taking so many pictures, your phone's dead in three seconds. You can just plug it in and charge it anywhere you want around this place. Right here, we have the same kind of table that we saw outside. We have a glass and carbon fiber accent table. This is like your dining room, if you will. Check out the light fixtures above. Once again, as if we were like in a luxury penthouse and you got seating for 10. I mean, I don't even know 10 people that I would love enough to bring on this boat. So I'd probably use half of the seating. But we have a mirror to accentuate this room. So it's just looking back, it's just a massive space. It's also a 20 foot long beam, which is the whole width of the boat. It's just occupied in this living space, in the saloon. So coming from the dining, it takes us into the first galley. It's kind of like the cruise galley and it has a dual sink facing this window. So while you're out in the seas, cleaning, cooking, whatever, you're looking out, just seeing beautiful water. Your crew is extremely happy in this already. And then just behind it, we have storage, some more lights. We have a commercial grade dishwasher here because the amount of entertaining that you're gonna be doing, this thing's the nonstop running. Over here, we have a fridge, gorgeous fridge, and then to make every single drink on this boat, an ice maker, conveniently by the living saloon and the dining area. And then a really cool feature about the storage in here, this is like your cabinetry, look at this. Opens up lighting as you open it. If you wanna peek in here, Eric, and take a look at this. Just got really efficient storage in here. Comes out like this, so you can swing, get things in the back. Just love the design of that. I'm gonna fill this whole thing up with just I don't know, what do you think? Nutella, some crackers. Um, dude, I'm ordering out. I'm bringing steak on this, but I'm not gonna use a cupboard. This is for the chips. This is for that drunk. 
You just need something to chew, you know? We come a little bit further down to head towards the main galley. We have a stainless steel full fridge over here as if you would see a house on this gorgeous yacht. And then now we're gonna walk into the main galley. In here, this is actually fitted out like a luxury condo that you'd see in Miami. Starting with the same gray wave quartz counter that waterfalls down on this side. This is like almost an island over here It waterfall straight down. Sink behind me facing the window again. You have two ovens down below. We have Thermador smart ovens. They actually have steaming capabilities as well. We have a five burner Thermador induction stovetop with the vent above. So while you're cooking in here, you can literally cook curry, you know, any food that smokes and causes a smell, sucks up right into there, save the day. And then you can kind of just like serve it out here on this beautiful island with that's that really nice finish. And of course, over here, you have a Thermador microwave beautiful, never been used, best of the best. And then, you know, a place to eat in here. So you're not just like standing on the counter, which is probably what I'd be doing. I don't like to sit and eat, just like stand and eat. If you're not like me, you're a normal person. Over here, we have kind of like a dining center on this side. So you can scoot in, ooh, enjoy the food, have a great meal, and then look on my left, 54 inch Samsung TV just sitting there. And one other feature I forgot to mention in this amazing galley is that you have two freezer drawers right over here. So you put the Hagen dazs put the ice pops. You know, this is where you come when you have a sweet tooth and it's a sunny day. I mean, this right here finishes it up for us. And then we're actually just gonna head down if you wanna come out and do a turn. This is the VIP suite, not the main suite. This is just the VIP suite. So coming down here, we have a queen size bed, but it's just got Exactly like what I've been saying, like condo style living. You have two side tables, a nice cushy headboard, because if you're on this kind of boat, you know, you gotta have some protection for the head. <laughs> on my left, we have a cedar lined walk-in closet in the VIP suite. It smells like you would expect in here, storage throughout, just a really nice spot. And then you have your own head in here. And believe it or not, it has a walk-in shower in here. So you have the sink, the toilet, and then a full you know, walk in shower with the seat. I mean, I would be sitting in there for hours. You can't get me out of here. We're gonna head out of the VIP suite. We're gonna actually cut head back upstairs so I can show you the rest of the guest staterooms and then the main stateroom. So why don't you follow me up there? So coming out of the galley, we're gonna make a left, pass over this amazing dining room again. God, I just wanna sit here and eat with Eric and Alex. I just wanna sit and eat with you guys. We can't, you gotta keep working. So follow me down here. We have a day head over here, which is like a half bathroom almost. And in here, in this day head, you have a huge window, almost the length of the whole you know, room. So you have this great view of the sea while you're emptying your sea. I don't know, but it's got a sink, the same gray wave quartz counter and a mirror in here. We're gonna close this up. And now I'm gonna take you down to the guest staterooms. Awesome, I'm gonna start with the guest staterooms. We actually have another VIP one, just like the one we saw up there. So in here we have, again, a queen bed, two side tables, TV on the wall, but like I said, who the heck is watching TV while you're on a yacht like this? Unless it's late at night and you wanna watch Netflix. All right, take that back. I'd be doing it sometimes. But I wanna direct our attention into this bathroom. We wanna to try to come in here and see if you can see this. So you have the kind of the same accent lighting on the floor, the sink. You wanna come in here in the shower when you open it up. You have a walk-in and it has a window almost in line with the water. It's just really cool. Sitting here taking a shower is just mental to me. I would have a great time. Um, and then from this one, you still have two more guest staterooms. And on my left, like I said, you have two twin beds and then the same head bathroom in there for them to share. We'll walk a little bit further down on my right, you have another two twin beds with their own head to share. And then in here, before we head in, before we head in, I gotta throw an ad right here. I'm sorry, you know I have to. It's gonna pop up any minute now. <laughs> Just kidding. <clears throat> Forget that ad. We're not gonna have any ads, not yet. We'll save that for later. But you're gonna come into the main VIP, king of the castle, queen of the castle stateroom. Follow me. You have a full beam in here, the full width of the vessel. They have a king-sized bed. 
dead center. So when you walk in, you just jump face first into this bed. Also, if it's too dark in here for you, you just hit this button and you can open up the shades fully. Check it out. Boom. So you got that great view. If you're on the water, you're seeing the Mediterranean on one side, dolphins jumping on the other side. It's quite a sight to see. And then the whole width, you got tons of spaces to lounge. You have a couch over here, kind of a spot where you can sit down, watch this 56 inch TV on the wall. Or if you're not like a lazy person like Jason, on this side, we have a three inch floating quartz desk right here. Get some work done. Do what's going to do to pay the bills for this place. Speakers surrounding you, view, accent lighting. And then just behind me, you're going to have the main head of this suite. We're going to walk in. So in here, we have dual sinks. We have your walk-in shower on this side on my left. So here's the closet on this side. We have another cedar lined closet in here. This one's really awesome. It's fully walk-in, racks to hang your clothes, a couple robes with the Crescent Yacht logo on it. You're gonna need that for sure. Storage down below, everything you need in here. Cannot believe that this is not a condo somewhere in Miami. It's quite impressive. But now, let's head upstairs to the upper deck so I can show you some more of this amazing yacht. So there's actually two ways you can get to this bridge area. You know, you can either come up from the upper deck or we can come from down where we just came from the main uh, hall over there. But we're gonna, since we're in this room, let's just talk about it while we're here. So this is kind of the whole captain's main area. You have 22 inch Garmin screens. You have some navigation, autopilot, everything you need. And the cool thing is, is down below here, these are your stabilizers. You actually have them just down below. A few other important pieces of equipment. I don't know all the specifications of it, but I'll have all the information in the description below to answer all your questions about this. But I know this is the throttle to make you go forward and back, and that's the only one that matters, because as long as it can take me to the Mediterranean, that's all I care about. And then now, the cool thing is, is that you're not here by yourself, Captain. Don't worry. You're gonna, you're gonna have all your friends surrounding you. You've got maybe places to sit about seven, eight people. They both have quartz countertops on these tables, wraparound seating, Look at this, I'm so comfy in here, forget the views. I'm sitting here just talking it up with you. So you got company while you're autopiloting this boat, speakers so you can hear the music, you can join the party with everybody. I mean, this is where you wanna be as a captain, as the crew, wrap around windows. Now we're done with the technical area, let's actually head up so I can show you the upper deck and some more fun. This is it, this is like one of the best areas you can be. It's like the upper deck, the upper control. Once again, you have 17 inch Garmin navigation screens. Some more of that same important information that you're gonna need is sitting right up here, another throttle. This is, what. Well, let me tell you again, Captain, you're gonna be sitting in this chair. Oh, Captain, my Captain. This feels just like luxury, plush comfort, view everything you need. A really cool feature as well is over here, you have like these little side throttles and knobs so you can kind of park the boat when you're up against the dock. You could see it right here. So you can angle it better. You don't have to be sitting there like guessing. It's really nice to have. And you have it on the other side as well. And just like in that where the bridge area was, we have more space up here to hang out. So if you're, you know, if you want the owner to sit with you or your friends or your crew to sit with you while you're operating the boat, people are downstairs partying, you could sit up here and house again all these people and it's just a really nice hangout spot. Another quartz countertop table with the carbon fiber accents. And I wanna point our attention, up here we have a sunlight, which is almost just like a clear translucent ceiling and it's tinted just enough so it's not like you're in the blazing sun, but you can see through it and feel no heat. Just nice and cool, got the airy feel. And then we're actually gonna head down over here. As we walk down, on my left we have a spa. This is a four person spa over here. Perfect for, I feel like the, the yacht is not complete if you don't have a place to hop in the water that's not outside. You got an up top spa up here, jacuzzi for your closest people. And then right where Eric is standing, we have a second wet bar. So you have the sink here. We have the ice maker over here, two ice makers. Cause if you're up here, you're drinking, you need fridges and ice makers. That's all you need. Grill, you have a Napoleon grill up here. Are you seeing this? Gorgeous, gorgeous grill. And then my favorite place ever probably to be on the boat is when you walk over here, 
we have four loungers on this side. Just four facing front, seeing the best view from up top, nice and personal. You know, downstairs is all noisy with the guests. Up here, you kind of just come back and unwind and relax. Also, right over here, we have a steelhead marine davit. It can lift up to 2,500 pounds. This is the big boy crane that helps you lift the boat on and off, the jet skis on and off. You need this puppy. This is, this is like your, your Iron Man arm, if you will. But now, now that I showed you all the luxury, the fun of this boat, this is kind of the technical side of the boat. I'm gonna take you down into the engine area and the crew cabin areas, just so you can see what it looks like. This is probably more for the captains, not for the users, but listen, if you're enjoying the tour so far, might as well follow us. And while you're here, why don't you subscribe? And I'm sorry, this is probably a good place to put an actual ad. It's gonna, it's gonna stay up now. So I'll see you in a second. Captain, crew, guest, whoever's watching this, this is kind of like the, the crew area. Washer and dryers over here, a kitchenette over here, complete with a microwave, coffee maker, fridge down below, sink, everything you need. And on my left, it's gonna start us with the first crew cabin. So as we walk in, this is kind of where they lounge themselves. I really like this because you have a reading light over here. You just kind of lay back, wait to be called on, take a nap, rest, everything you need to do right over there. Love that. And then you even have your own closet, storage desk on this side, and a Jack and Jill's in here from this head into the next crew cabin quarter. So if you want to walk that way, I'll meet you there. So on this side, it's like a bunk kind of style, you know, you the bunk down below, bunk up top. Me personally, I'm up top, I'm on the crew. I like to be on top because I wake up early. Well, then I should probably be at the bottom. I don't even know what I'm saying, but I love how Jack and Jill's right over here. And then as soon as you walk out, the team can actually eat together on this side right here. They have a table in the common areas and a TV on the wall. So you're watching TV, you're eating, you just woke up from a nap, whatever the case is, you've got your own space and it's really movable. It's not like tight and close quarters. And then a really cool area I would like to show you is the cabin for the captain, right? So come into here. This is where the main guy's gonna be sleeping, enjoying his days. You know, in here, he's got his own bed for himself, closet in here, and a full head for himself. Walk-in shower, everything completely private, so he's got his own space. I think that's really special. But now, this is even more advanced with details. I'm gonna show you the engine room. Now, this is where a lot of the uh, boat fanatics, yacht fanatics, are gonna wanna know some stuff out. I'm gonna pull out my phone instead of pretending like I'm looking at it behind the scenes because I just wanna be accurate with this stuff. So follow me inside. I'll try to do the best I can. I'm also gonna talk a little louder, but one thing I really like in here is the blue lighting that you have, the hue at the bottom, it's really cool. You also have twin Detroit diesel engines producing 2,735 horsepower. You also have two Northern Lights generators on this side, 55 watts, Two 1,800 gallon per day water converters that store 700 gallons of water over there. And the cool thing about this boat is that you have a 2,000 nautical mile range because of these engines and everything in here. And just to give you an example of how far that is, the Turks and Caicos round trip is 1,000 nautical miles. So you could do a full round trip, eat, and then do another round trip because you forgot your iPad in the hotel and come back all in one on one trip with this boat. I love that. You have some more CCTV in here to make sure everything going on with the boat is good. Anything else that I missed will be in the description. If you want to know the brands of everything, more detail will be in there for you. But now I want to take you to the front of the boat, end the video, show you the last piece and say goodbye. Follow me. All right, the final place we're going to take you hopping out on the starboard side. We're gonna walk down a little further. And over here, this is the final area of this mega yacht that I'm gonna take you on to. It's really beautiful. You have some anchoring systems over here. This is where your docking front end is gonna be. And then up here, the final place where I wanna take you. This is a spot that the main person or like all the Instagram girls are gonna be sitting, you know what I mean? Who, who knows? But up here, you have this ladder, come up. <sighs> Look at this, sit here, sit here, sit here. And this is where you just sit and you think. <laughs> so nice. Anyway, just wanna say thank you for coming on this tour with us. I'm trying to bring some more yachts to the channel. It's just fun to switch it up a little bit. If you wanna see some of my real estate videos, 
you can click right here. If you want to support the channel, click right there and buy some NFTs. And um, any other questions about the yacht, it'll be down in the description below. Just want to say, love you guys, care about you guys. All right. <laughs>